uh, about having to pay for gas or pay for uh, water, water for a drink of water. Yeah. And uh, you know, I used to put the quarters in. But last time I wanted to fill my tire, I went and there's a big sign that says right. the state of California yeah. has now been that this this station must give you free air. Oh, that's good. Wonder oh, what's Bray had. Well, that's generosity. Well, free. Free. Well, 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 they're not, but I can see the beginnings of a little beginnings Wonder, of a, the great, thought processes starting to kick in. That's because they're looking around for some shanika, some old wisdom. You know, how did the ancients deal with this? You know, pollution. Have to incorporate it into I, new yes, laws that's right, different. and I think that's what's happening because yeah. one of the biggest issues is actual water the pollution of water and the water base. Yeah. And that's one of the things that's happening in Ireland. You didn't do that in the old Brian laws. If they had survived, we would never have had the pollution into the water table. Yeah. That, well, you'd lose all, all right. your cows for that. Uh, fishing rights. Yeah. Exactly. stream that belongs to someone and you can't fish there. Over, you can't, or, or you can't overfish. Right. Yeah. And you can't use, you know, you can't kill that's fish, you know, you put them back. You know, you don't kill, young or uh, mother yeah. fish, yeah. you know. Yeah. So they yeah. knew all that stuff. Yeah. That's a wonderful thing. Yes, yeah. it is. And we only we have well, to rediscover it. You have to rewrite the laws to incorporate Well, I think what we have to do is we have to rediscover uh, where we went wrong. We went off into this uh, horrific material world that Al Gore portrays so well, and with no restriction, but it's true, he does, uh, that this mad, mad, mad technology extracting out coal and burning and we just went nuts for a relatively short space of time since the from the industrial it all started with the industrial revolution or the so-called industrial revolution and look how short it has last it has lasted not very long you know the middle of the 1800s and already we're in serious trouble so therefore we went off the tracks there we went off the tracks when we started to uh, consume and extract more than than you know so I do think that the Brahman laws are relevant to uh, the next generation and the next generation after that. Not to us, we're kind of, I think we've kind of missed the boat, but I do think that they are relevant in the future. Huh? We can still be on that boat. You can't say you missed it. Well, I agree. I, I just would love to think it would happen that quickly, and I hope you're right, Marie Delphine. I know I am. I well, good. I, 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 I do think you're right. Private property view of the world. Just saying, we missed it. You got to keep what you got. Exactly. I tried to create. But doesn't that? <laughs> you going to say something? Well, well, the one thing that I just don't get is that if, if the bread and laws worked for the Irish, why everybody is going towards more of a capital punishment type law? That's that's the only thing I'm trying to, I guess, figure out why that. How did we go so wrong? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's what we have to put right very quickly. Because it's not working. It's not working. And it's individual, it's private property, everybody's in charge of their own selves and nobody else. Yeah. So that there's no, yeah. you can't, if, if someone has nothing, you can't charge them. Yeah. Yeah. The compensation is not whack. You know? Totally, yeah. yeah. So you can't charge them and all his neighbors and their friends, they're going to stop them from doing it. have no cohesive little community. That's going to put pressure on you. There we go. Uh, you know, there's no uh, repercussions. Yeah. Because we have relied too much on the big state, and we have lost sight of the communities, the yeah. local communities. Mm -hmm. All politics are local. Everything should be done locally. Yes, sir. When you mentioned before compensatory yes. law, yes, yes, or punishment, I think you said. Uh, no, no, we did. There was no punish. It was not punishment based. It was compensation based. Okay, what's an example of compensation based versus capital punishment that he just mentioned? Uh, if if I kill somebody, yes, your people, I should be compensated by being <coughs> killed. No, it, that's not what they did. No. That's not what they did. They punished not just you, but your entire support group, 
your village, if you like, your support group, and they punished you severely for not having taught you a lesson and, and allowed you to have been such an aberration. <coughs> they punished the entire... If you kill another person's son, you'd probably have to give up a son to them. So you'd lose... Well, no... No, they didn't no. do that. No, that's because, not, that, because there, were no key, there were no capital punishment. That's right. In the sense of they death. Did, no, yeah, they didn't right. punish in that sense. They punished yeah. him in a more economic sense, which was fight. But what the concept was, you didn't punish just the, the, the little... Perpetrator. Yeah, because it was up... The concept was, it was up to the people around him to have kept that guy in check. The social yeah. pressure. Yes. Correct, because the guy was... was, was he misbehaved because oh. of the, you know the poor teachings or whatever. And they found that yeah. that worked. That yeah. worked. What did they, yeah. What did happen then? Did they punish my family? Yeah, the whole the whole area, that whole section. Yes, your immediate family out to about three generations, and they probably suffered for another three generations yeah. down the line. That was a serious thing. They're not going to forget that for a while, oh, a long time. The, what would the uh, punishment, what? punishment be? Cows, probably. The guy probably didn't get to eat for quite a while. And he probably sat out at the door at the coldest spot in the house. He wasn't allowed near the four. All, all of the things that you can do to an individual. And you can't turn, he can't turn up, go off and say, well, I'm leaving. Well, he wouldn't get to the next tour because they'd say, well, what are you doing here? No, you must, you're a family, renegade, send the him family, back. The family's going to have yes. to pay a bunch of cows, and then and, the family's going to be pissed at you. And they are <laughs> going to make your family. life so miserable. Wow. And so it worked. Call it, call it integrity, you know. Yes. Oh, integrity. And nobody disputed it. Yeah. They all accepted yeah. it. Says that, so yeah. that, that guy, and that's what re-emerged in the late 1800s in the form of the Landley, where if there became a, a social code, that there's certain things you do and certain things you don't do. And if you do, the issue was uh, taking over land that the, ten the landlord would evict a tenant from. Uh, the, the basis of the land system as it had grown over the occupation from the 1600s was you were the tenant at will of the landlord. But what they thought in the, in the 1800s after the family says, well, wait a minute. They can kick us out, and we're tenants at will, but what if we say to the landlord, if you kick somebody off that piece of land, none of us will work that land. The landlord now has a piece of land that's not producing. So that code <coughs> was agreed upon, and that was the basis of, of breaking the, the, the landlords because you didn't go and attack the landlord and burn his house down or shoot him from behind a, f a fence. You simply said, sorry, can't touch that. It's like as if it was poisoned. A sort of a boy. That's what it was. He was the first guy that we did it. Captain Boycott was the first one that they did it to and it became synonymous then. It was an American journalist who when he was over there, used the word that they were going to boycott because he picked up on the word. Um, he coined the word. But you see, that was incredibly powerful because there was the landlord was powerless. He couldn't come down and evict everybody. That was his entire economic system was now destroyed. So therefore, he had to talk, and he did not, basically, couldn't evict anybody because if he did, he was cutting his nose off. So his face. Pardon? Ah, thank you. Yes, yes. They, they were yes. Tosh, okay, then we'll we'll quit it in, in a moment or two. Uh, thanks uh, for reminding me of that. Yeah, <clears throat> the ultimate and the final um, sanction, if you like, or final appeal uh, against a uh, transgressor was to sit on his doorstep and fast, so that if somebody uh, did not um, yield, if you like, to the pressures of his peers, um, then the person went and fasted on his doorstep. And that was almost instantaneous redress of whatever it was that, that they did. And the lower the person was, the more likely they were to prevail. Because, um, and it, it, it almost, because if you allowed a person to sit on your doorstep for typically about 60 days, the average, yeah, that's, that's about what a person will last, yeah. Yeah, that's about, well, the hunger strikers, as you know, in 1982, 
typically 50, some of them died a little earlier, but typically 60 days is about what you live. So <coughs> um, uh, if, if, if you go to that extreme, you probably are never going to be forgiven by society for that. You are not going to be able to do anything. And everybody knew that, so therefore you, you give in. So if you're willing, so, and that is also in the Indian, uh, I don't know about Farsi, uh, Arya, uh, but, but it certainly is in the, in the Indian tradition. The honor, the word honor is very important. I, I never forget my great-grandfather, this is a long, 